follow. Yeah. Your boy looking crazy. <laughs> what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mac Get the Hands back to you with another video. We're going to be doing a self cut with the Andes Pro Alloys. These clippers right here, man, if y'all have been watching my channel from a long time ago, I would say maybe three, four years ago, I was competing at the Orlando Premier Hair Show and this um, came with the ticket and the package with all the clippers and trimmers and stuff. So I held on to these and I just use these at home if I want to cut my hair or something like that, but they are corded. Going back to the where we started with the, with the corded clippers, just so I happen to have a, a one guard here with them. So I like a number one all the way around, guys. Line it up. Um, line up the back, point the sideburns. I'm gonna clean all this off because, bro, I really do not rock mustaches. Um, I'm looking rough because <clears throat> your boy has been on quarantine. But let's start cutting my hair and we'll get into the story time. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. I appreciate you guys for all the love and support, all the feedback from it. It's amazing, it keeps me going. Um, but being that I'm on quarantine, I haven't been able to go out there and, and give back like I want to. So I'm just praying that my whole family is healed from this and we get by this, we beat it. And, um, we're able to get back to work, get back to our clients, um, our normal lives. And, and, and that way I can go back out to the city of Tampa and give back. What works for me is my lineup. My hair is so straight that my hair stick out like that. So if I have like a two or a three in this area, and there's like a shadow, like an overhang. And I know you can just knock that down like a one and a half or a one, but I just like doing number one all the way around, keeping it nice and simple in the lineup. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you're still watching this video, I would say about two and a half weeks ago, my daughter was positive and I'm sure she got it from school or dance practice or who knows. She had symptoms for like two days and um, after that, she was pretty much good. She got back to her, her normal self. She had quarantine for 10 days from school. Five days later, my youngest, 10 month old, tested positive. We had to tell our clients again that we're gonna have to stay home another week um, because we had, we had already told our clients when Aaliyah got it, we had to stay home. So now this is the second week whenever we told them that my second kid got it. <laughs> Five days later after that, I got it. Started feeling symptoms. Me and my wife are both vaccinated. I'm not here to force it on anyone. I'm not here to say, yo, go get it. It's up to you, it's your decision. But it, it helped out with the symptoms, I guess, because we had mild symptoms, kind of like just like a cold or, or like a, a flu-like symptom, but nothing fatal, life-threatening, nothing that where we have to go and end up on a ventilator. My wife tested positive three days after me. We're gonna have to tell our clients again another week. So total of three weeks that we're gonna be off of work. Um, my 10th day is on the 6th, I believe, of September. I'll be able to return back on the 7th. I'll take a test just for my clarity, for my client's comfort, and just to make sure that I'm negative. But I did have mild symptoms. Right now I have no taste, no smell, which Socks. Oh my gosh. Y'all had this, man. Share y'all's uh, experience down below in the comment section um, and how it affected you and what your symptoms were. And um, I pray that whoever did get it is doing okay and no one had any life threatening uh, symptoms. Like, I can't really hear that good. My ears feel like they're clogged up, my nose is clogged up. But we're getting through it. My oldest is feeling much better now. The baby, she's getting better. She's uh, recovering from nasal congestion. She did have a fever for like two, three nights. Nothing nothing life-threatening. Her her breathing kind of scared us a little bit in the beginning. It was real difficult for her to sleep at night. And we were trying anything and everything, all types of home remedies, man, like the Vicks rub, the humidifier. The nose Frida, the suction cup, the nasal uh, drops, like everything. We tried everything and <clears throat> nothing was really working. So, put her room up with VIX pads and uh, humidifier and chest rub. That way she could sleep better. And there's nights where she had to sleep with us. And I think that's how we got it. But, I mean, you, you do something for your kid at that moment. You really don't care. 
um, you know, you want to just take the virus from them in that sense. Like, you wish it was just you instead of them because they're innocent. They're, they can't. Their little bodies can't can't handle that. I'm glad that she's a fighter. It's just it sucks seeing your kids like that. You know what I mean? If you have kids, you know how how it feels. But you just want to like take that virus from them or take that pain discomfort from them. We try our best to to not get it masked up and stuff. But we're in the same household. It was I guess it was bound to happen. We're just hoping that because it took five days for me to get it. I was like, man, maybe the vaccine's working, but. It did, it did in the sense of the symptoms. Look at this little mirror I got. <laughs> I don't got no equipment here at the, at, at the house. I didn't want to go to the suite and pick anything up. You know, I'm just trying to stay away from it until I'm ready to get back. I just want to update y'all guys and um, let y'all know that we're doing okay. My whole family's doing good. It's just, we gotta get by this, man. A little, a little bump in the road that we can, you know, we gotta go over. I can't wait to get out there and help the community as much as possible. I'm gonna be doing it two Sundays out of the month. Right now I got a dope team of barbers, um, two from Plant City, one from um, Riverview area. Um, they were on, on the video with me and helping me out and they're amazing, amazing human beings and just uh, wanted to reach out and lend a hand and help out with the haircuts and without them, none of that would have been possible, man. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys, Apex, AB, Jordan, and all the ones that donated stuff, all the stuff that we took in the back of my truck, Christy, Nick, and Robert, appreciate you guys, for real. Everyone's asking me like, how can, how can they help and how can they send donations? Right now, I am working on a website, a nonprofit organization, teamgifted.org. All the profits on that website will be 100% given back to my charity, teamgifted.org. Um, to give back to the Tampa community. I'm just starting off very small. I'm, I'm a, you know, have some merchandise on there. Anything that's purchased through that website um, will be given back to teamgifted.org. Be be on the lookout for that, guys. It's it's amazing what has happened all in one month. And I want to share so much more with you guys, but you know how things work. Um, you've got to be patient, you know. It's, it's on his timing. It's on his timing, so... Uh, I'm working, okay, and he's working. Can't wait for for what for what's next. I'm gonna take the one open and go right across this. These bad boys looking crazy. I like to do the eyebrows with with the one open. What I'm gonna do right here with this mirror is I'm gonna hold this thing up like this. That way I can see in this mirror to line myself up. And I'm using these uh. These little trimmers are called, I think mean they're called hitters. It says hitters on them. <laughs> Someone reached out to me on Instagram, sent me these. I only used them a couple times and they hit sharp. So I gotta be very careful because I'm sensitive on my scalp. Chill. They're sharp though. The last time I gave myself a haircut was when I was driving. If y'all haven't checked that video out, I did a self haircut at every red light. Check that video out, it was hilarious. It could have a little more art to it, but I just, I wanna leave it as is. I don't, I don't, I just need to look decent. There's a self, at home self haircut. You can do this. And if you don't cut hair in the shop, you can still do this. It's number one all the way around. The tricky part is the lineup, but you just, you, you just got to know where to put your hairline at and your and your sideburns and everything like that. And you in the game, you good. It's okay. You don't got to be perfect. Look, I already look, I already look better. I look better. All right. Stop hating.
And if you're in the same situation as I'm in, you can do this if you have a pair of cleavers. I don't have the, I literally have no comb, no brush. Everything's in the shop. I know I'm supposed to be having some backup stuff, but come on, man. Give me a break. Um, whenever I go cut the homeless, I use a lot of stuff that I had here at the house that I was just had sitting around. So all I have is this clip right here that's corded, a number one guard, and a trimmer. On, your, on the hairline, you okay? You see I have a natural hairline that just kind of like has like a, a natural arc to it. Not only that, my highest point of my hairline is right here. I tell the person that's cutting my hair, it's a cosmetic lineup or a pushback. I know it's a pushback because you have to cut a lot of hair. So your first line is going to be up there on my hairline. In order for me to have a full vertical bar, it has to be closer to the end of And I know that because I know my hair. But I'm helping you have some type of reference point to go off of. See right there? I don't want to go no further than that because that's dark enough right there. Now I have a nice little foundation. My vertical bar is going to stay right there. My vertical bar is going to stay right there. And we're just going to try to connect everything like that. All right. It's light a little bit in that corner, so I may go back a little further back. Yeah, it's pretty good right there. Create my sideburn, create my vertical bars, and then I go from the middle to one side, then I'm just gonna connect it over here. I'm gonna finish the back of my neckline. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much a cleanup, man. Easy, number one, all the way around. Even if you can't even get to the back of your neck, you can go a little bit lower, that way you can just taper it off. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. If you are at this point in the video, I really appreciate your support. I appreciate you tuning in, hearing my story out, what I got going on. But we're gonna get through this. I love my team, get the family. I'm always transparent on this channel. I love the feedback, love the support. I love you guys. Thank you for always, always, always giving genuine feedback on anything that I put on this channel. If you are new to my channel, I'm just a uh, I'm just a barber out here in Tampa, Florida, man, trying to make a difference. Take a look at all my videos, man. I hope y'all enjoy it. Subscribe, like, share, comment. And as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted.